Hey, how's it going? So as we transition into fall, we just now had like a, a first official full day of fall and it was fall all right. I mean, it was dark, it was cloudy, it was colder, it was dreary. And now today is like the second day that's dreary, cloudy, and uh, to me kind of depressing and I'm, I'm already over it. I'm, I'm like, Get me to a beach now. I haven't had a vacation in years and I really need one. But it's instead of, we I can't have that right now, unfortunately. So um, I'm going to show another uh, transitional type of outfit. And so I thought I'd share like not only transition summer into fall, but also how you can transition this outfit into uh, from casual to business casual to more evening kind of look. So anyway, so uh, this is a tank top, one of my favorite tank tops you can see. It's leopard, uh, leopard print. And I think it's got like little roses, sort of rose with a leopard. Pink and purple is one of my favorite things. I bought this, I don't know, I'd say at least 15 years ago, thrift shopping. So I don't even know how old it actually is, but it's one of my favorite tank tops because I can wear it with a lot of things. I have on a pair of leggings. These are a newer pair of leggings from uh, Pink, which is Victoria's Secrets, which, you know, which is, say the subline, pink line. Um, but p the thing about this is they usually would be rolled down. Uh, they usually be rolled down uh, type of leggings. But I, here is a tip for anyone who's got a stomach issue. If you keep the, instead of rolling them down, you pull them up and wear it underneath and it actually gives you some tummy support. So I have that, and these are just leggings, but usually, you know, you see the roll downs in the uh, boot cut, but these are just straight leggings. So my sneaker fans will like the fact that I'm wearing my black Reeboks that I talk about all the time, but these I usually have by the door in our house for when I like go walk the dog and all that good stuff and just bop it out and run to the store real, real quick. I just throw them on, they're just super, super comfortable. And one thing is I've noticed if you're getting older, one thing that no one ever told me about is this heel support thing. Your, your, not only does your foot get wider as you get older, and actually I've noticed as I've lost weight, my foot isn't as wide, but the heel to ankle part back here changes. It changes. There's something about when you're young, the back of your heel might be, there but it usually has a slimmer back and like as your you know ankles or whatever um and this is why a slim older lady can still have cankles because it just naturally gets wider so i have shoes from like two or three years ago that i wore that before i might have had when i was say bloated or heavier not been able to get the front of my foot in but I can always get the back of my foot in and just like, oh, okay, they're a little tight in the front. Okay, I have to lose weight. Uh, when I lose weight, they'll fit better. Now I have shoes that actually fit well in the front, but I can't get the back of my foot in them. And it's just a difference in the, the heel. So with, with these, with like these are low tops, but whether the high tops or the low tops, they have like a lot of good heel support. But I noticed that a lot of my sneakers are wider towards where, where, where the foot, where my foot goes in. They're wider back here because the, <laughs> they need that heel support. So I have some shoes. I have some pumps that I love to wear that I can, amazingly, some shoes that are little dainty little shoes that I can fit into because they have, they don't have a lot, of, a lot in the back. I can wear those, but I can't wear some of these ones that were more solid. And then I have some other ones that are okay. It's almost like every other pair of shoes. I just went through going through all my closet and I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a bloating thing because I, I don't know. I'm not bloated right now. I've actually lost more weight. Um, but your feet definitely change as you get older. Now, I know some people who have had kids, they have this thing early on, the shoes that they were wore in their 20s, they can't wear in their 30s or 40s, but I, you know, it's more been as my weight's gone up and down with me. So I don't know. I don't know if it's how I'm walking now or what the, I think. I think a lot of it has to do with how walking since I had those accidents and I've recovered and recovery and maybe I, my weight, of, uh, the weight that I put on my foot is different. I don't know. But needless to say, 
these are some super comfortable shoes. I practically live in these. And so these are the shoes that I slip into when I walk the dog. So um, in the house, I'm usually like this, okay? But outside, when it's a little chilly, I have, since I love this, I can wear one of my pink hoodies with this or my purple hoodie. So this is the, since it's that fall time of year, this is my uh, purple hoodie that I just got last year. Um, I got it last year at Walmart because I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough zip-on hoodies. Now, one thing about me is I'm not a sweater person. I am a layer person. So a lot of my outfits always start with either a tank top or a t-shirt. And then I'll put, I'll put either a zip-on hoodie or uh, a hoodie with a zipper that's like goes over the head, but I prefer zip-on hoodies. Um, or a blazer or uh, one of those little light little, what, what they call now, shackets, a jacket or jean jacket or leather jacket or uh, some of these things that I've been showing that have that drapey kind of like scarf material. So that's how I like to dress. I'm, I'm not into turtlenecks. I'm not into high, high sweaters. I feel very claustrophobic. Um, actually like, it's very hard for me to get into fall because I, I am not into, so everything has to be really soft for me, for, for me to feel comfortable. So I don't like itchy sweaters. I don't like acrylic. I don't like, um, it just depends. Depends on how I feel. Sometimes people will buy me something and I'll luck out, but I'll, if it's a sweater or something, it'll be okay. But a lot of times I'll wear it a few times and then I myself will either, sell it on one of my selling sites or I'll like donate it myself. If it's something that I just am like, nope, I, I don't even think I can even get it. <laughs> so it just depends. Sometimes people get me things I think are real, that are, that are okay, but sometimes it's just better that it's a gift certificate. So I can, and that's why I like to do a lot of in-person shopping that I'm, I'm kind of sad that we're, malls are going away and all that stuff. So anyway, this is how I would do this hoodie. Um, and just kind of zip it up, but still have, still have this open because I feel, um, I feel cause that's how I feel comfortable, you know? So anyway, this is kind of like your debt, your casual go, me going out, walking the dog. This is kind of just run into the store. A lot of times, especially for grocery shopping, the stores are so incredibly cold, especially frozen foods, all those th things, frozen aisles freezing so i'm often in a hoodie tank top leggings this is this is like totally this is like totally me totally casual it's in the fall or sometimes it's matching sweats outfits uh which i'll, I'll be showing you guys soon so okay so to dress this up um you know this is fine for just around the house around the neighborhood walking the dog just to go in the store but if i'm going to something where let's say a networking meeting or a um kind of like a little dressier of event and where I have to, or I want to be looking a little more business wise or what I would say a little, just a little more dressed up. You know, sometimes I'm going to be going somewhere where there's, um, you know, people where I'm kind of, if I want to suppress somebody or if I just want to just feel a little dressed up, I'm going out with a husband to someplace that's a little dressier, like, like let's say a Sunday brunch, but not a dressy Sunday brunch, you know? So this is a jacket that also I bought thrifting. This is from Lane Bryant. And what I like about it is it's a stretchy material. Uh, I don't know if they have this type of thing there anymore. A lot of, I've heard that so many plus size women are complaining by what's in the stores. Too many uh, flowy big tops, too many uh, arm cutout tops, which are cute, but and too many shapeless things. Um, so, but what I like about this is it's very stretchy and it's form fitting for curves. It is not a boxy blazer. And if I want to have it be tighter, I can definitely, it stretches and, um, you know, but this, like I said, I bought it thrifting at least 10, 15 years ago, but this, it, I like it because the buttons are not separate. The buttons actually match the material, um, which is very hard to find because sometimes it'll have like buttons that are a weird color or buttons that don't um, match the outfit. And um, so in these, I also had on my website uh, a couple of years ago, which were really, really cute. 
I wish Avon would bring back some really cool boots. They do have some, but they don't have them in black. Um, they, we had a bunch of different things this year. They're doing a lot more business casual, um, uh, like, but more like that kind of lounge where you can take like, so there's always a fall sweat outfit and there's some dresses, but there isn't anything that's, um, and they do have some leggings. They do have some things, but not, um, not in the colors that I usually, that I usually shop for. Although there is a burgundy set, but the pair, like I'm very picky about my sneakers. One thing I like about my black Reeboks is, and the same thing with these, these dresser shoes. I don't like a contrasting sole. These are the same all the way through. Okay. Uh, same thing. I like them. if I'm going to commit to black, I want black. I don't want a black sole with a uh, white, tr uh, what do you call that? Tread? Is this what that's what it's called? Whatever, whatever the base, whatever the, whatever this is called of the shoe. You can see it's dirty. <laughs> whatever this is called, I like it to be the same color. I don't like, I prefer, it actually looks classier if you have all one color. It, it, if you have like two to three things, let's say white and black and then different color socks and different color pants, it, it cuts your body up in different like sizes. And see here, I'm trying having a tough time getting this. These have elastic, which may, are very helpful. But see, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little challenged here. This is where that heel thing comes in. And I really like that there's a pull tab. There's a pull tab here. Okay. So, okay, here we go. And this is what the boots, they're really cute. And they have elastic on the sides, which make it really helpful. So anyway, uh, this, the heel kind of elongating, but still black all the way. That's much more elongating. Looks, makes me look, legs look longer, a little taller. Streamline, not, this is the one color, this is another color, this is another color, this is color. It breaks you up. So if it's all one, if you dress them, similar or similar shades you know you could have dark burgundy medium what it can be in the same tonal family um at least that's for me at least that's for me people can do what they want to do but you can definitely see the difference in how i look this way compared to if i was like three or four different colors or that's also why i do darker jeans uh, i usually do a dark jean with so that way i can when i combine it it's still a longer leaner kind of a look you know so um so yeah so this you dress up and then i also have i would also add this kind of necklace to kind of you know make that look a little more it's not only dressier but it also looks a little bit more uh just pulled together in general to have the jewelry um it just kind of brings it helps fill in the gap here helps make it lot, look a lot less plain and it also kind of picks up the gold in my hair. Um, so yeah, so that's, so that's how I would do it. And uh, so it's just kind of fun to put things together. I also have a couple of necklaces that have purple in them and some earrings that have purple in them. But you know, it all depends on how matchy matchy I want to be. Sometimes I'm not really into people that matchy matchy. And, um, but anyway, I just wanted to share uh, also the, the structure of this is nice. There's a lot of things with a lot of plus size clothes where th the shoulders are almost too like wide this way because they assume that is that it's for a a taller woman with broader shoulders, a broader back, I think. Uh, even though this is a size 16, this fits me more like a petite and fits me more. Um, and I like the little flare up back here if it's more... Um, it's more uh, fit, you know, because it's cut on, it's cut on a curve. So, um, so yeah, so there's just a lot of little things like that that make a big difference day to night, um, day to night or daytime to business casual or just daytime to going out. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, so for me, it's, I just like to, when I'm just around the house, I try to keep it casual, but you know, sometimes you don't have the time to really dress it up or let's say you're on a zoom, you know? Um, and yes, a lot of people are wearing hoodies on zooms and a lot of people are wearing dressing more casual, but what if you had an interview, you know, you had an interview, you still want to look nice. 
even I've heard of people doing Zoom dates, you know, <laughs> and the Zoom dates are, you know, you still want to look like you got a little dressed up for somebody on a Zoom date than if you would be, no, you know, I'm talking first for Zoom date, okay? No, <laughs> first or second Zoom date. I'm not talking like you're in relationship two years in and <laughs> and maybe you're, maybe you, someone's out of town and you're doing a FaceTime, okay? You can do whatever you want there but if but if it's like you know first couple of dates and you're trying to um you know make a good impression to somebody you know that's 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 where that's where the um that's where the blazer might come in come in so anyway i just wanted to share uh the cute little outfit of the day and um you know just show some show some different show some different outfits and show how you can make with just a couple of same same things uh on the base uh a couple of different looks um uh two or three different types of looks and ha have it have it work for you and be comfortable like for me i feel like this is so comfortable because it's still leggings it's still a nice tank top everything feels soft even this blazer is a nice it's a it's a nice blend um but so for tips for thrifting is you know, really, you know, checking for stains, checking for wear and tear, um, you know, brands might not mean anything, you know, some one brand might, like I said, I lucked, uh, this with Lane Bryant, I lucked out because sometimes the Lane Bryant stuff is are too, run too big. So for me, because I'm plus size and a petite, sometimes they have plus size petite, but that's not how this is sized. This is size. Yeah. It's a, this is just size a regular 16. Um, so it just depends. It just depends. Some uh, other brands may run very narrow. Um, so if you're plus size and you're shopping on a budget, you know, it helps to have sales. Like people say Torrid has gotten too expensive. Lane Bryant in general has gotten, the prices have gone up a lot of plus size clothes have gotten very, have become very expensive, but you know, that's why I go to thrifting. Even some thrift stores have become too very, they've raised the prices. So um, it just, it pays to shop, it pays it also sometimes the men's department. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but uh, I spent years in high school you know, shopping with my dad, going to thrift stores. And if I was looking for a blazer to wear or a funky t-shirt or whatever, would do that look. It was the early eighties and people are still wearing it now with Chuck Taylors, whatever. Um, that whole look, it was I would, I would find those blazers in the men's apartment because, and I just roll up the sleeves and I would have that nice, fun, cool, fun blazer look and get some different patterns going with a cool t-shirt, uh, or just like this, a tank top underneath and the arm holes would be <laughs> a good size and the arms would be uh, nice and roomy. And I wasn't like trying to trying on women's clothes and feeling like, oh, this is cute, but it's too tight and, and feeling defeated and like you're not happy when you're shopping. So, and I, and I still do that. I'll go to TJ Maxx. I'll go to the women's department and men's department just to kind of see. Sometimes they have things that I think are really, key, you know, materials and quality in more quality. And sometimes the men's department that I'd find in the women's department. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes men are looking at me like, what is she doing here? I'm like, I'm either shopping for my husband or they don't need to know I'm shopping for myself, you know, but a lot, it's a, you'd be surprised. The same thing with pants too. Um, if I can't find pants that I like, dress pants in my, you know, um, in my size, I will go to the men's department because they're sold by waist and length. And you can always, you know, hem or tailor uh, things if they're too long, but at least you'll get the waist and you can belt it. And, um, you know, I always say women will not be, be truly liberated until our clothes sizes are uniform similar to men's and we could just go in and buy things based on our waist to leg length to sleeve length to um you know uh, to you know, with whatever hemline we're looking for that would make things very, much easier it'd be very it's a lot a little harder but men's clothes are mass produced with more more uniform sizing and people companies are so you know dockers are still being sold every single day um, you know, to men and companies are making a lot of money that way. Um, and if we wouldn't, you know, yes, we now have things that are like tall, medium, 
uh, or tall, regular, short, or what they call tall, regular, petite. But so often the petite is still isn't long enough and they're, they're cut, not everything is cut the same way. So if they were late, you know, and they're now starting to have more variety, I, I know, but it's still not, it's nowhere near the same standardization as men's clothes. So sometimes you can really find things much better uh, in the men's department, depending on what you're looking for, you know. So anyway, just want to give some a little uh, 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 fashion advice, some shopping advice, and some uh, outfit, uh, outfit advice. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, so you can, uh, oh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell. So you can notify it if, uh, when I upload new videos and uh, don't forget to share this video with friends who like beauty and style and someone who might need a smile. Okay. And all my, uh, information, all my links are down, uh, down below. I have my link tree and I have, uh, things like I'm going to be start putting more things up for my eBay channel. I'm going to start putting it for my eBay account. I'm going to put, put, put more things for some of my other, other, uh, accounts and get things going there. But anyway, I just wanted to sh share. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Okay. Take care. Thanks. Bye.